Thanks so much for visiting Teen and Buddy on YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Sing me a song of a last that is gone. Say good that last be I. Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Billow and breeze, islands and seas, mountains of rain and sun. All that was good, all that was fair, all that was me is gone. something that's cute singing <laughs> but not very good playing i'm sorry about that everybody i'm not, I'm not so sure about the singing either hello and welcome to the tea and a buddy podcast i'm erica and i'm dominic and that was a very cold opening <laughs> um on today's podcast if you couldn't tell by that little um att attempt at the theme song there to outlander we're going to be talking about the season finale of Outlander, yes, yeah. which aired on Sunday, um, yesterday for us, because we're recording this on Monday. So anybody who doesn't watch the show, go ahead and skip this episode. Pause, well, pause here. No, no. They don't have to skip this okay, episode. Okay, okay. They can pause okay. here. They can go watch it. And then come back. Yes, and we do. It's recommend a miracle, it. and we do, and we do recommend you guys watch the series if you oh, like period yes. dramas or time travel or the nineteen sixties or um, the American Revolution. There's so many different little things that you. If could you want to learn about be Scottish into. history, like yeah. a couple of a couple of YouTubers we we watch. Mm -hmm. said that oh it's really and you know one of them scottish he said really taught me about scottish history <laughs> yeah. and like stuff i didn't know about culloden and the, yeah. the jacobite risings and everything you know yeah yeah we definitely recommend the show you guys there's there's so much to it you're bound to like some aspect of yeah, it yeah there's the, the well, obviously the romance yeah. novel bit is but it's good quite actiony there's action -y there yeah, yeah. Drama. It's 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 a good story. Diana Gabaldon did a good job at writing this. I mean, obviously but the show is do... a the show is a different animal to the books. Yeah. Well, so we've heard. We so have not we've read heard. The books. We have not read the books, but yeah. a lot of people are saying, "Oh yeah, it's it's fifty fifty as to wh where this can go." Yeah. But this episode, we're going to be dealing with the finale of season five. Never my love. Yeah. That hit by the association. In 1967. The series is a great series, but was the finale a great finale? This is the question yeah, we're going to try and answer. Is, we're going to try and answer this. If you per, per, First oh. of all, if you guys do watch the show and you have not seen yeah. the finale yet, go watch it before you come and listen because there will be spoilers. There will be blood. <laughs> there will be blood. Blood would be spilt. <laughs> there, oh, there, hi. there will be spoilers. So go ahead and pause this now. Go watch the episode and then come back and listen. Dinner fash. <laughs> Are you back? Are you back? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to start off with the well, with the with the beginning of the finale, which was, I mean, in the the previous episode to it Claire, at the end of it, Claire was kidnapped, kidnapped. Mm -hmm. by Lionel Brown. That awful, awful man, Lionel Brown. <laughs> yes. Terrible man. Uh, he was kidnapped because and she, he kidnapped Claire Yeah, and knocked out Marsley. Mm -hmm. I thought Marsley was dead. I, I thought, thought she yeah, was I done. thought she, she was done she for. She whacked yeah. her head so hard on that. Um, well, I thought Marsley was dead and... Uh, you know, she was, and the, was. Well, I think it was actually wood. 
Oh, was it? Yeah, I think it's. I don't think they had concrete back then. No, not concrete, but I thought it was like brick or stones. Oh, maybe. I don't know, but she went know. really whack, you but know. I, I think was it's like, just oh, that hard, no. you know, that hard stuff, you know, mm-hmm. that they put down. In the, you know, the hard stuff we used to put down in the 1700s on floors <laughs> oh, in North we... Carolina. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, it, uh, yeah, she whacked her head. She was knocked out. They grabbed Claire and, you know, they, obviously the, the, the distillery explosion was a distraction yeah. for Jamie and mm-hmm. Roger. And Oh, no, Roger wasn't there. Because in that episode, Roger and Brianna travel back through the stones. Yeah. Or did they? Mm-hmm. We find out in this episode what happened to them. With Jemmy and everything. Yeah. But yeah, they took um, Claire and it was basically Lionel had seen that she was actually Dr. Rawlings. Yeah. And he was all like, oh, you're filling women's heads with all this stuff. Uh uh-huh. we'll, um, we'll, we'll teach you we'll a lesson. We'll teach you. And they were going to take him to a, take her to a town where she was going to have basically another witch trial. Yeah. They were he gonna was going to out her as Dr. Rawlings. Yeah, out her as a fraud and make her tell everyone that she was talking crap. Mm-hmm. in the stuff and you know so women could just go on being women and that was it and you know basically along the way they had to stop obviously and they tied her to a tree and beat her Ugh. up and you know this was this apparently happened in the books too. Yeah. this was a plot point in the books yeah we've been looking at like twitter and twitter and we've seen a lot of fans reactions saying hmm I love the finale. Katrina Balfe was brilliant. Give her all the awards. It was such a great, and it was so great dealt with. Yeah. And oh, yeah. She did a great she job. She did a great she, job. She was... The actors and everything in this yeah. are doing a fantastic job. There is yeah. nothing wrong with them. Mm. The story, you know, I, I, I did read a piece where I'm thinking, yeah, it did change my mind a bit. It was like, yeah, did this need to happen for the story to progress? I hate to but say this. But it happened this. in the book. So I feel I feel like I'm going to be I feel like I'm going to be judged for saying this. Judgment time is near. But at the same time it's my it's my feeling, you know. I just feel like it's I and I have no idea if the books are this heavy, I don't know. You now now Dominic and I have not been watching this since it first came out. We just got into this a couple of months ago. A couple we, of months we ago. We binged it. We binged it. The first couple of episodes, we were kind of like, ooh, it's going a bit slowly. Don't know if we're going to keep on with this. But we persevered and boom, you know, it, it, it picked up. Yeah. A little bit like Belgravia. And yeah. that, I think that was only going to be a mini series anyway. Yeah. But in the last two episodes, it was like, oh, yeah, this is pretty <laughs> it good came, now. It came to life. Well, you know, but, you know, that, that it needs, that's what the first seasons of of shows are always going to be rocky new cast new story new characters they've got to all kind of come together so if you watch a couple of episodes and go eh, it's not for me persevere keep at yeah. it if it if it's a show that you, you've heard a lot about then and it's, odds and are it's still you're going gonna... it's it's you know it's been giving a chance mm-hmm. you know there's life being breathed into yeah. this you know um so so my point in saying that we have not been watching it week by week we binged up until this season and then the last i don't know most of this season i guess we've been watching week by week i think we st- i think about halfway through about halfway through about this halfway season. halfway through yeah season. because they broke for like a week didn't they yeah after the hanging of roger yeah so it may be you may feel differently about it if you've been watching it just you know, every yeah. Sunday. But for us, because we binged it, to me, it feels a bit heavy on the rape storylines. Yeah, there's a lot of rape in Outlander. There's I mean, a lot of and like, that is... And, and, and I'm, I'm not talking to just w- about women. There's men rape as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You know, um, and, Jamie, I, and, you know, and I'm not saying don't tell those stories, stories. because obviously they're yeah, well, important stories to tell. I think they're in the books too, they're stories as far that, as I can tell. There's stories that even today people can unfortunately relate to um i'm definitely not saying don't tell those stories but just coming from having binged it one episode after the other several episodes in a in a day or in an evening sometimes um just feels oh, still feels very rapey <laughs> and, and and it's just like Ugh, yeah. Ugh, but yeah. it's like it's, if it's, it's in the books it's fine it's in the books yeah and and there's a point i want to get to 
okay. when, we, when we when we when we talk about this. Uh-huh. You know, I'm, I'm, um, uh, we'll go ahead. We, we we kick off out this finale season five with like a dream sequence, and it's like, well, it's we th- as far as we know, it's kind of we've gone forward in time to the sixties. Mm-hmm. That's what we 60s, originally thought. Sixties yeah. in Claire's there. She's lo- looking all sixties. And then we see a guy the, the, come in, and it's Jamie. The thing it's I like, noticed, What's Jamie doing there? The thing this I noticed before Jamie came in, because at first we were like, "Oh, have we gone forward in time?" An oh, Claire, Claire's Claire went Claire went back to you know her real life, um, maybe. But I noticed that her hair was not gray at all. Did you notice that in yeah, the sixties? Yeah, it wasn't. It yeah, wasn't it was gray. all like. So I was like, okay, maybe she went back and she's got she's access dyed to her. hair dye. Yeah, she's back on the hair dye. <laughs> but then we saw Jamie. Then we saw Jamie come in, and mm-hmm. and you know he was kind of not dressed in like very sixties guy, but someone on Twitter said no, he was wearing blue jeans. I saw him wearing blue jeans. Yeah, I'd have to go no, back and watch. I'd the have episode to go back again. and watch the episode again. But he didn't look very sixty. I mean he. He looked like Jamie from the 1700s to me. Yeah. And that's when I was like, oh, okay, it's a dream. She's, this is her coping mechanism for what's happening to her in the 1700s yeah. right now. You know, mm-hmm. she's been bandied, she's been taken advantage of by these men. Yeah. It was uh, obviously a dream because we saw Murtaugh. Then we saw Murtaugh and Jocasta. Jocasta yeah. And Jocasta could see. Mm-hmm. Uh, then young Ian turned up. Oh, Yeah. And he was all in like uh, American Army, like like he'd just come home from Vietnam. Yeah. And he, you know, he had the crazy buzz cut. And he was like, "Oh, Auntie Claire, yay!" J- Jamie's there, and you know they're having thing. And there was the, the symbolism of the orange. Yeah, I well, I don't know what that was about. Like peeling an orange. I Mean I don't what? Know. Yeah, because she picked it up at the end of the episode mm-hmm. just before. An orange, yeah. yeah. I haven't thought that much about that. It's got to be something to do with something in the books, I'm I'm guessing. Maybe. Or Um, something they've mentioned in a previous episode that we just. It was Thanksgiving 1968, I'm guessing. 69, maybe. I don't know. It's just the 60s, anyway. Yeah, but it was Thanksgiving. And she's just kind of like having this thing we're all safe in the 20th century. Yeah, everybody's happy. Everyone's happy. We're having a great Thanksgiving, but Brianna and Roger aren't here. Yeah. And it's like because she thinks Brianna and Roger have gone through the stones and she doesn't know what's happened to them. Mm -hmm. So she's like, oh. And then she gets a visit from like two cops, one of whom was played by the guy who plays Lionel Brown. Oh, oh, yes. um, Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. McKenzie were killed in a car accident. Yeah, we hate to. We're sorry to inform you. Yeah. And so she's all like, oh, you know. I, I thought also. There was a connection, the car crash, because obviously Frank had been killed in a car That's crash. That's right, yeah. Right. So, um, but there's also an aspect of maybe they're going to go back in time. Maybe she was having some sort of premonition, premonition in that a way. That, that she, and that, that might maybe. happen to them if they go back, you know, to the 60s, my, 70s. My thing is, is like, you know, it's like the, whenever season six comes out... <laughs> You know, whenever all yeah. this stops and they can get back to filming, which yeah. I'm sure they're itching to because, yeah, you know, it's going to be 2022 by the time season six comes out. Um, and they do, and over here they don't like doing that. <laughs> right, I was going to Br- say that's Britain, sort of in normal. Britain be, in Britain, it'd be like, yeah, fine, you know, no take, take take as long as you need. <laughs> Come back in five years, we'll still watch you. But in in America, it's kind of like. You'll be old news. You'll be old news yeah. fast. And you'll mm-hmm. be like, oh, no one cares about Outlander anymore. Yeah. You know, that's what they think that the uh, um, American public I mean, and the fans is... who watch Outlander have the attention span of a gnat. I mean, that you does know? sort of happen in America, though. I will I will say that that does sort of happen. I know, I know it's happened with me, actually. Just... It's never happened with me. <laughs> you know? I've never, I've never once... You know, like Sherlock, if Sherlock comes back, I'm not going to go, I don't care about Sherlock anymore. I'm not going to watch Sherlock. Right. I mean, I would... You probably would, though, and you And you have. I might, I, we, yeah. We did it about something. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't Killing really care Eve. about this anymore. Killing Eve. But that was the... Yeah, Killing Eve oh, came Killing back. Killing Eve, I think, comes comes every year, doesn't mm, it? Maybe, yeah. But yeah, there, there's definitely been something in the past that... Uh, some British show, yeah, that I that I can... I can't remember saying that. Like, I don't really care about this anymore. I don't, I don't really care about it. <laughs> I've moved on in my life. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean... I moved on in my televisual life. <laughs> I'm on to better things now. But yeah, so since you mentioned Brianna and Roger, should we just go quickly... Go, go to that th- point, Their storyline yeah. was fairly short in this episode. Uh, yes, it was. I mean, they went through the stones with... Well, young Ian watched them go through the stones and then they... In the last episode, and then they woke up and they go, what the devil? And that was it. And we were like, oh, what was there? Did they, yeah. You, know, you said, you said maybe he saw a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic said, Dominic said, I bet he saw like the golden arches of a McDonald's. And he was just like, oh, what the devil? <laughs> what the devil? <laughs> it's like, oh, build, better build a McDonald's here. People have been going <laughs> missing here. So. They went too far into the future. <laughs> But no, so then in this episode, we we sort of back up, we replay that scene again from their point of view, because yeah. we, we kind of, we couldn't really see what they were seeing, but um, what they were seeing was basically just... Um, it was Young Ian. <laughs> young Ian <laughs> yeah. was like, oh, you're back. Yeah, Jemmy's like, that was oh, quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, like oh, look. what happened? And they were just like, oh, I was thinking of home. And it was like, so was I. So obviously that tells you that the stones... Send you where your heart desires to go most. So I want to diverge a little bit from this episode and let's talk about the stones. Is that okay for, stones, for yeah. a minute? Make Jagger, keep Richards, let's go. <laughs> the stones um, and and time travel, let's just talk about that. A oh, the, bit. The, 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 you don't think they need the gems? Well, first of all, we you had Galus. Galus thinks who they thought you needed this, gems and, and you had to have a human sacrifice. Yeah, preferably a husband. <laughs> Well, Claire obviously did not have a human sacrifice the first time she went back to the 1700s. Yeah. And guys, keep in mind... Did if she you, have if you, any pearls the first time, though? Guys, keep in mind, if you have read the books, we have not read the books. So yeah. if you've read the books, you probably have more information. Well, you probably know what's going on. Yeah, you probably have more information to go off of than, than we do. We have not read the books. We don't know if they explain this more in the books or not. I but Claire did not do a human sacrifice to go back to the 1700s the first time she went. It was just from an the accident. 1940s. Yeah. It was just total accident, just curiosity. She, like, she, oh, she, she just was. She could drawn. hear the buzzing. She could hear the buzzing. I guess it's like bees buzzing, and, and did, she was like, "Oh, what's that?" You know, and it just kind of drew her to the stone, and she put her hand in it. Boom! There and, she was. And did she have any gemstones? You, I can't. You, I think she had some pearls on her. I you I think you're thinking of the pearls that Jamie sent back. Frank her. gave her something, though, didn't he? Frank gave her a necklace, know. you know, in that remember. little scene. He's like, oh, here, have a necklace. To my do that. theory... And then, then, yeah. My theory is just that... Yeah, when she went... Oh, just to cut my own... Just to cut myself off <laughs> in mid-thought. Um, when she went back to the 1940s from the 1700s, you know, she thought Jamie was going to be killed in Culloden, you know... Um, she lived for 20 years in Well, no, in when the she went century. back, she didn't take gemstones with her that time, did she? I can't I can't remember. She definitely had the pearls that Jamie gave her on their wedding night that had been his mother's. Mm. She definitely had those because he wanted her to have them to give to Brianna, I mm. think. Yeah. Right? Right. I don't know. We could be jumbling this totally. Anyway, but anyway, yeah. to go back my feeling is that you don't need any of that nonsense. You don't need anything else. You just you just have to believe. Well, you have to have a reason. There has to be or some sort of reason to go through. You know, like oh, I, I'm well, or maybe it's just a case of, um, like oh, I'll get to this in a minute. Now, I think her original reason was just that she belonged with Jamie. She was never. She was not meant to be with Frank. She was meant to be with Jamie. Uh, yeah. So she had to go through the stones to meet him. She met him. Then the Culloden happened. He came back, and you know she had this life bringing up Brianna with Frank. Yeah. Because she couldn't. I guess she couldn't do it in the seventeen hundreds, and so she lived for twenty years in the twentieth century. Then Roger and Brianna figured out, oh, you can go back. And Brianna was able to and go apparently back. Apparently Frank knew that they were going to go back anyway because he had that um, article well, he from knew Claire the North was Carolina going. Observer or he whatever He knew Claire was. was going to because he had the obituary that Claire yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. had been killed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't think he 
knew that Brianna... Oh, no, he didn't know that Brianna was going to go through. No, I mean, he knew Claire was going to go back anyway. Yeah. Because um, they were killed in some fire or something. He'd done some research and... So I think Claire was able to go back again yeah. in the 60s after the 20 years she spent living in her own yeah. timeline. Because, again, she was meant to be with Jamie. She should have She should have always been there. She should mm-hmm. have always stayed. So I think that's why she was able to go back. I think Brianna was able to go back because she, she was go... meant to be with her. Well, she, yeah, she had to go tell, warn her parents that they were going to be killed in a fire. And then Roger was able to go back because he was in love with Brianna. And Brianna had gone back. So then he was able to go back. Yeah. Right? Roger, yeah. I, I've... I read a kind of spoiler from the books anyway, which people will know who've read the books anyway. I, when Roger and Brianna were going to go back through the stones in the last episode, I thought, yeah, they're going to go back through the stones because I've read that they actually end up Mm -hmm. living at Lallybrock, I think. Oh, yeah. And living in the 70s at Lallybrock, you know, with Jemmy and so So maybe... And when they didn't, I thought, okay, this is the TV show, just, oh, they've got to all stay together in the 1700s. Yeah. And now I'm thinking, if they're not following the plot line of the the book so closely, Uh then maybe that was a premonition that Claire had, that they're all going to go through. Yeah. Because Diana Gabaldon has said, Jamie cannot travel through the stones. Yeah. She said that, apparently. She's she's come out and said, he's not a time traveler, he cannot go through the stones. And it's tr- and they've kind of held true to that with that little piece of, like, moon rock or whatever that was. Yeah. Um, that uh, Jemmy was like, ah! That's how they found out that Jemmy could go back through the stones yeah. and everything, yeah. He was like, oh, it's all hot, and it was stone cold to young Ian, and it was stone cold to Jamie. Yeah. So it means they can't go through, you know? Yeah. Um, but again, maybe they're just not meant to. They're just not meant to until there becomes a reason. Then the rock becomes hot, shall yeah. we say. You yeah, know? right. Um, um, so my other thought about Brianna and Roger and Jemmy just showing up. Obviously, they said, they said I was thinking of home. So was I. So yeah. that kind of told us that this is your home. That's yeah. why you were returned here. But they were needed there. They were needed there, yes. Because of Claire. Yeah. Um, But I also thought maybe if they're meant to be back in the present day, and you said you have read about the Lallybrock. Yeah. Maybe they have to travel back to Britain and travel through those Those stones. stones. Maybe. I mean, maybe it's that kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe Maybe they're not meant to be in America in the the 1970s. Because, yeah, I mean, I was thinking, yeah, they're going to have to, they're they're going to, they've they've gone up to New York, Mm. they've traveled through the stones and, you know, they come back to the 70s. They're going to have to figure out a way to get, you know, money, I guess. Uh, Right, yeah. To get back to the uk yeah because they'll be in america yeah Un- unless that's just a little deus ex machina that is just like, oh, whatever stones you go through wherever you end up that's where you'll end up yeah um this brings me on to another point um remember the guy that helped claire when she was lost the, the yeah Indian, yeah the, the, the i can't native. remember his name yeah they called him something he was the mohawk knew him right and they killed him mm-hmm because he was he was apparently that's where they got the ro- the rock from it was the from moonstone, him yeah. the moonstone uh they his name was Bob Springer apparently <laughs> yeah cuz he was from the 70s they named, oh, they oh, named this, him. Like, no 1968 yeah because as Claire was being you know Claire was like tied up to against to a tree you know she's having a little dream and someone's talking about um, oh, Marsley, I guess it is. Because Marsley was in that 60s dream with Fergus. And he had both his hands. Yeah. And, and it was like, oh, we're going to have another baby. Oh, what's it going to be called? Oh, we're thinking something hip like Ringo, you know? Oh, Marsley said that? I think it was Marsley. Someone was like, oh, we're thinking of something hip like Ringo. Ringo, oh, I don't Ringo. And then she that. heard some... And then she and then she kind of came out of it. Because the guy was going, does the name Ringo Starr mean anything to you? Yeah. And she was like, what? Yeah. And then this is in the 1700s. He had already talked to her once, though, and he said something. And as soon as he said it, yeah. I was like, I think maybe he's a time traveler, too, yeah. this guy. Um, he said something about, 
um, do they have clear skies where you're from? from do you have clear skies where you're from? And she was just like, yeah, well, what are you talking about? You know, and then he says, oh, something about, oh, looking like, something about they're looking like the man on the moon. He like, looks no like matter you can see you go, the man yeah, on the, the moon. The man on the moon. Yeah, and the, the man, man on, on the, the moon. moon. Yeah. yeah, man on the moon, like nineteen, like like man landing on the moon is how I took yeah. it. Just you know, it was like yeah. oh, he's trying to like see if she gets if she has a reaction to that, which she wouldn't have because she she didn't make it that far in the sixties. That did, happened in sixty nine. She did. Did she make it all the way to sixty nine? Oh God, I don't actually. I don't know now. Yeah, did she? I thought it was 68. Yeah, yeah, no, because that, that's what this guy said. You know, does the name Ringo Starr mean anything to you? And she was like, oh, um, yeah, he's a drummer. And he was like, I knew it. I knew you were a time traveler. I came back with a bunch of in, of Native Americans. Yeah. Uh, to help us, help our people. Yeah, to warn them to about warn what them was going to happen. Gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, in, from 1968, he said. Okay. So he goes, do you know anything about what happened to Bob Springer? We were all, we were all like split up. And he's like, oh, he was killed. And she, he was like, oh no. And she was like, oh, you can help me. Let's get a horse. Let's go. And he didn't help her. No. Why didn't he help her? Yeah. And he, he seems to have disappeared when, when Jamie and everyone turned up to slaughter them all. Yeah. He seems to have disappeared. So it's like. Was he really there? Was he really there? Or, you know, is he, he's going to turn up again. Obviously, at some point in the next season. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Or was she just kind of imagining that? Was that like a, a yeah. an in-between her um, happy place dream that yeah. she was having? Yes. And, you know, what was really His name happening. was Donna, apparently. And apparently that quote, does the name Ringo Starr mean anything to you, is a direct quote from the books. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they've, they've kind of kept that um, one on. You know. Yeah, so it looks like, I mean, if he was in the books, then maybe he's a real person. But yeah, why didn't he help her then, if yeah, he was a well, real person? If, 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 if he, he just, he goes, oh, I can't help them, because uh, you, you, you've, got, you've got to act afraid, because women of this time, you don't act afraid of men. Yeah. And women of this time do, and you've got to act afraid of men. Yeah. And of course, she's never going to do that. Yeah. So, you know, it was like, you know, everyone mm. had their go. Yeah. Know? Um, of course, the, the, yeah, no, of course, Jamie turns up. Jamie and his gang, his posse. <laughs> his posse with Roger in tow and yeah. Brianna. Well, no, Brianna wasn't with them. No, they Young Ian Brianna and Fergus were, were willing to kill for her. Oh, oh you I, I, almost, I almost cried at that part. <laughs> she was all beaten, bruised, and, you know, everything, you know. Yeah. Um, who was it? The The Welsh guy. He turns oh, yeah. his knife. He says, okay, we've gathered up. You know, there's some you, that are still living. Do you want to have the honors of killing them because they've done this to you? Yeah. And um, Jamie just automatically says, no, no, she's she, not she going can't, to. She can't. You know, she, she took an oath. Kill. Yeah. She took an oath, you know, as a as a doctor. She she can't take lives, you know. Jamie. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he says, oh, it's my job as her husband to, to, to take do that the, for Yeah, her. to take the lives for her and... And then young Ian says, and mine. Um, and then Fergus goes, and, and then mine, Fergus lady. says, and mine, milady. And I'm just like, no, they're so sweet. They, they're, During... they look at her like <sighs> their mom, yeah. even though, you know. Well, Fergus was just taken from the streets of Paris. He? <laughs> yeah. Um, he was just a little hoodlum. <laughs> he was a little hoodlum. And young Ian obviously belongs to the sister. Yeah. Um, yeah, Roger killed his first man. During all this, you know, actually killed him properly, you know, like intentionally, you know, not yeah. like because he, he killed that child that was part of that fire. Yeah. Which apparently was done by Lionel's men. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, you know, they're just trying to drum up unrest or whatever. He killed her as a mercy killing, but this was actual, like, you know, heat of battle mm -hmm. blood. So he had to talk to Brianna about that, you know, kill the man, you know. So this has changed Roger. Roger's starting to step up a bit now. Yeah. But every, you know, there's a lot of people going, oh, he's a 20th century man. He's a thinker. You know, he's sensitive. He's, he's, he's more evolved than that. Cause this kind of stuff wouldn't have happened to him. I said, yeah, it wouldn't have happened to him. And it should have made him more stronger from the get go. Yeah. You know, he's almost, he's been taken by the Mohawk. Uh, he's been almost hanged. Yeah. You know, he's been almost killed several times. Mm -hmm. Um, 
that's it. You know, it's like it should have made him a bit more stronger, but he just wanted to go home at the end of the day. Yeah. And now he realizes his home is in the 1700s. But we'll see next season what happens. Yeah. But Claire says to I Jamie... I have a feeling did next I, season Claire's going to want to be going home. She's going to want to try and get... She's going to be obsessed with trying to get everyone out of this... May, and maybe that was the point of the episode. Because she's like, oh, I've been... I, yeah, I've I've been raped now. We finished this episode, you guys, and we... And, it was not that it was a bad episode because it was, you it know, just it was felt an intense like it episode. It just left you mon- wanting more to, like, wrap up the story. Well, yeah. I think that's the frustration. Well, you know? it did not feel like there was anything left to propel us into another season. It was kind of like... It was just like... It, oh, here we go. It was like a mid-season episode to me. It, yeah, it was. It you wasn't know? like a finale episode. Mm-hmm. Um, And, I mean, that's a weird thing to say unless... Unless you understand what we mean. Yeah, there was um, no kind of like, you know, like cliffhanger, I guess. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, I guess there, there doesn't have to, be a, doesn't have to be a cliffhanger, you know. It's just but, the end of the season, yeah. But we're just, I think we've kind of been trained to to think cliffhangers are what, are, what are how seasons, a season yeah. ends. Yeah. Yeah. There was just nothing, like, I can't, I can't for the life of me, think, you know, what what's going to be the opening episode of the next season, you know? It'll what? just be yeah. like... I mean, there's Claire nothing won't to... be magically all better. I think you're right. I And, and I had not she'll thought She'll be traumatized, and I think what'll be... She'll be just going to, like... I've got to get dr- everybody out of I've here. I've got to get everybody back through the stones. Jamie, young Ian, yeah. everyone's coming back to 1960s. Because what were they saying? They were, they were lying in bed at the end of the episode... Um, you know, she's obviously traumatized and everything. And she did she did mention something about basically the the Revolutionary War that's coming, right? Yeah. I can't remember exactly what she said. So maybe that in itself was setting up the next season. Yeah. I mean there's gonna be that coming. That's that's a couple of years off. Yet. I mean I mean they could not have predicted this um COVID nineteen crisis. No, that's obviously happening. not, yeah. So But it's a weird episode to end on not knowing when we're going to be coming back and not coming back for a long time well i have a feeling i have no well i have a feeling they 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 thought oh we'll just get roll just get rolling into the season six and set up the action but covid19 has put everything on throwing everyone yeah into a loop, through a loop, for a loop, whatever you call it. I think I heard somewhere that they are going to try to start filming in the fall. So they normally film but, most yeah. of the year. So they that means that... But the that thing the is, ne- they're going to probably rush this yeah. out. Try and, try and get as much back on schedule as possible. Yeah. Try and get as close to the schedule as possible because, you know, you're leaving... Because it's, it's gaining momentum, Outlander. I think it's getting more popular. Yeah. And, you know, if they start filming in the fall now, you know, they can, you know, they'll probably rush through scenes. There'll be no time to mess with anything. Yeah. Um, Which might result in a, in a bad season. I don't know. But, you know, I think, I think, I don't know about fans. Would you prefer just any old Outlander to, you know, just no Outlander? You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, or, but, like or would to, you prefer, uh, like, oh, would... Wait. Take our time yeah. and get filming done as we as we've done it before, you know, like a normal thing, you know. Yeah, I just think, yeah, they're gonna roll into this, and it's gonna be Claire like fixated on getting them all out of there. Yeah. Okay, you know she's gonna become like a Roger and go. You know what? We need to figure out a way to get them all through the stones, and live in the twentieth century. Yeah. Where there's, you know, there's no war, <laughs> you, know, you know, and there's no, like, you know, there's no, there's, you know, no danger of being shot at or, yeah. you know, what, you know, you, you know, it's I, relatively safer than the 1700s. You know, you, we still, I can still think of two things that are not tied up. Um, oh, yeah, no, there was the, a... the first one being the fire that they supposedly yeah. died in. Um, and the second one being the prediction that the native that the little old Native American woman told Claire about her being white haired and, and powerful. 
Yeah, that she's just going to get stronger and she sees her being white-haired and everything. Which tells me there that she's not going to die in a fire. She's not going to die in a fire and, you know, white-haired and powerful could mean she could, like, you know, I don't know if that means in the 1700s or the 20th century. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I mean, yeah, I mean, those are unanswered questions and until... Season six rolls around. We won't see that. Yeah. Mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> I think that. I think that wraps. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I mean. I mean, some... you've got to tell us your thoughts and feelings on it as well. Just mm-hmm. um, let us know. Yeah. Let us know in our Facebook group. Um, you can find us on Facebook at T Buddy. At T Buddy. Um, we're at T Buddy everywhere. Actually, T E A B U T T Y. So we're very active on um, Instagram, particularly, yeah. but we also do have the Facebook group that we would love to hear from you on, yes. and um, we're also on Twitter. So check us out in all those places. Check out our Patreon page. We have a store on our website if you're interested in British products items from amazon um or if you happen to be british we also have american things on there that we recommend we get a small commission off of every yeah. sale that we make um at no extra cost to you guys so um other than that i think dominic is gonna play us out thank you so much for listening we really appreciate it and we will talk to you next time bye A song of a lass that is gone Say could that lass be I Mary of soul she sailed on a day Over the sea to sky Billow and breeze islands and sea Mountains of rain and sun All that was good, all that was fair All that was me is gone Sing me a song of a lass that is gone Say could that lass be Say